I'm so jealous that they've been flying in those every single episode. That was probably the coolest experience of my life. <laughs> We've located a bag of money. Bag of money? Petrocelli basically makes a deal with them and is like, look, I'm a hero now. You need me on this mission because I can get you the weapons you need. Unless you bring me along, I'm not signing out shit. And you two can fight the Taliban with your witty back and forth. So then he goes full Rambo style and he shows up with this huge gun and he's like, let's go on the Black Hawk. Super exciting episode. <laughs> I think once they hear that he's willing to go out and take on the whole Taliban by himself for a bag of money, and I think they go, okay, well, maybe we just help him out a little bit, you know? <laughs> That's for your city? For your first time? Yeah. yeah! What a thrill. That was an incredible experience. Oh, you did really good, yeah. That's the most okay, fun scene of the whole okay. challenge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Action. Pause. <laughs> Nine million goats in Afghanistan. Not every one of them is boss. This one is. Mostly the goat has just been anxiety, stress, annoyance, frustration. The goat kind of represents everything that goes wrong for them. Although the goat does help them out. The goat might be leading us to the money. The goat might be leading us to the place where he shits. They've located the bag of money and they're on their way to to get the money and the Taliban come back and start firing at them. And Petrocelli gets shot in the leg. Boss is hit! Has <laughs> you just been hit? In the moment where Petrocelli is shot, his first instinct is to go to him to render aid. He's trained, he's a trained soldier who's trained to be a medic, who's trained to save lives. Of course, there's still bullets flying at them over their heads and all of that, but this is what he does, no matter what their circumstances are. Talk to me. It's such a fun episode because it's like the first time that you see them all really integrating. It's like, this is a unit. This is something special. We're about to blow off a house, <laughs> and we're very excited. <laughs> I love how good you're to your family. Well, I mean, you're my family now, too. You know, they see what they mean to each other, and they see that they're a good team, and that they could have died. And if they did, what was it all for? What's the whole charade for? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but I think I think it's great, and I think it's it's tough as well because um, because of Durkin and because they're friends now. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't quite prepared for that. I can understand, like, if you're doing something for someone so selflessly, like what Roback and Alvarez are a part of in this marriage, it's really just to help her. Like, that is such a selfless act of love. How can that not become more than a friendship? You really covered our asses out there. We owe you big time. Someone's gonna have to take the fall for ordering an airstrike without proper authorization. Who? Probably me. We can't let that happen. Someone's gonna have to take the fall. There is an element of bravado and ego there because he's just like, I'm the guy who's gonna fall for you. But at the same time, it's, it's very selfless and he, I don't think he would feel too good about himself riding off into the sunset with Alvarez knowing that Durkin was locked up in jail for, for doing something she wasn't supposed to. It's not about to let you take the rap for Durkin alone. Pretty fucking serious charges this time. Yeah. <laughs> he knows it's the right thing to do. After everything that they've been through, after all the schemes, all the side hustles, Davis has been the one to let Roback take the fall. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to him taking account for his actions, not letting Roback take the fall by himself, so he turns himself in. Yeah, it's been amazing. What we've created in, in the time we've been given, I think, is really something to behold, you know, from the sets to you know, the action that's written into the episodes, to the relationships that have been created, to externally then, you know, outside of the show, like the, the friends that we've made on this job. It's gonna be weird to wake up and not do this every day, see these guys. I think we've been really, really lucky to have an amazing cast and we get along so well. It really takes a large amount of people to do what we've been doing. It seems like on this project, it feels like everybody involved kind of leans into this a little more. It feels like everybody thinks that this is a special project. 
and I think we all know that we're making something of quality and of substance that we all would enjoy if we weren't involved in it. We've created a lot of great bonds, a lot of great friendships with the cast and the crew. I mean, this has been just an overall, just tremendous experience. I think we've created something beautiful and we've, we've given parts of ourselves to do that. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed every second of it.